shiny, shiny wheels. Well, not this wheel, but this wheel is shiny. So today, end of the day, figured I'd look at the old brakes on the dually because I knew this seal wasn't that great. When I did all the rear shoes over, I put a new seal in it and the original seal leaked pretty bad. And I just cleaned off my shoes and they're actually doing pretty good. Good thickness to them, even after all the towing I do with it. Um, and the uh, ceiling surface, as you can see, there's just the littlest little groove. I don't know if you, you can see that in the camera, but there's a little groove and there's a tiny lip to it. And whenever something's like that, I always worry about how good it is and how long it'll last. So, in order to fix that issue that this thing has had in the past, because that is the seal, and it's just a regular seal, and it rides on this surface right here, and it goes around and around and around. There's an alternative seal that no one knows about in this seal. It's quite robust. It's a lot bigger. It's a lot different. And if you look at it, it actually, the inside of it, actually spins separately to the outside of it. So this surface right here, that surface right there gets kind of forced onto there. There's pretty good pressure there. It goes onto there and then the outside of it actually will end up spinning and the inside will stay stationary so it doesn't wear a groove worse in that. And this just, like every other seal, presses right into the hub after you remove said old seal. And it helps a lot with leakage. Now if there's a groove really worn in this, I don't know if this seal would actually seal against it, but they make a ready sleeve for this that a lot of people do and stick with the original seal. I don't know if this would fit with a ready sleeve. I don't know if this, you know, better seal design would fit with a ready sleeve, but it's possible that it would. Um, but and even maybe some sealant on this if you were trying to get onto that and not have it leak. But just wanted to show you that, and I'll give you a part number for the seal. That is the part number for the seal, and that part number is good for any corporate 14 bolt axle in any GMC or Chevy um, that is from like the early 80s all the way to the late 90s, 90, actually even early 2000s because I think that this seal actually covers a lot of the AAM axles even. But just wanted to give you that tip guys. Hopefully this helps somebody out there because I know that I struggled with it till I figured this out myself. Um, I haven't really seen it anywhere or any good videos on it, so I'm making it for you guys. Hope you like it. Like, comment, subscribe, and share it when it needs to be shared to everyone else that needs their help with this. Um, oh, now my phone's ringing in the shop. And that's the National Seal part number. So, hope this helps, guys. I will see you on the next one. And if you can do it, no one can do it.